let me tell you about Boost for DAS, a new cloud rendering service from Infinite Compute that hooks directly into a running instance of DAS Studio on your local computer. So imagine plugging in a second computer into yours and just letting it do some of the heavy lifting that currently your local system would need to do when rendering with DAS Studio. It's a really clever idea for any one of those who want to bring their art to the next level and who can't use, for whatever reason, the hardware that's required to get a fast render out of DAS Studio. So I'm thinking of laptop users who just can't plug an RTX graphics card into their machine. I'm also thinking of Mac users who just, who just not allowed to use NVIDIA hardware in their systems, either on older Intel chip-based Macs or the new M1 and Plus-based Macs. And it's also great for those of us who just don't want to spend the current asking prices for new graphics cards still due to the chip shortage. I don't want to pay two grand for an RTX 3090. I'd like a 3090. I just don't want to spend twice as much as it's, that it's actually worth right now. So I'm more inclined to use a service like Boost for DAS if and when I need it and only pay for what I need and for what I use by the hour. Let me show you what the service looks like and what they've done to the website. I've talked about Infinite Compute in a previous video. They still exist, of course, in, in that current form, but they support so many platforms. They spun this product out just so that it makes our lives easier as dedicated DAS users. So this is what it looks like. Render without limits, Boost for DAS. It's a DAS approved product. So DAS use this service themselves when they have large amounts of rendering to be done, like for promo renders that take forever on local systems. It tells you about the system here and it gives you two configurations that you can get started with. And it gives you a third option if you want to build a configuration that isn't available off the shelf. So the first one here, $1.14 an hour is an RTX 4000. So this is not a consumer card. These cards that they use are kind of data center cards that we mere mortals don't really get our hands on you know one of those things the rtx 5000 configuration is kind of comparable with a 2080 rtx 2080 card but with twice the amount of ram so my RTX 2080 has eight gigabytes of RAM. This one has 16 and it renders a little bit faster. And this one is one that you can build yourself. So with up to 48 gigabytes of RAM, if ever you need it, and up to 43,000 CUDA cores, that is just roughly about 15 times the speed of an RTX 2080. I'm so looking forward to trying this out. To get started, you just sign in with your Google account here. I'll just use this one here. Pick the Google account in question. And that gets me to the admin interface. And this is a really nice addition to the previous Infinite Compute interface that I've shown you. This one, my instance is already running, but if you're starting a brand new one, once you've confirmed your billing details and all that, it'll take about five minutes to spin up that instance. But it now gives you all the relevant details that you need here, IP address, username and password all randomized that you need to plug into, well, plug into your local instance of DAS Studio. And it shows you here what to do. So on the render settings tab in DAS Studio, on the advanced tab under bridge, you populate these details up here into these relevant boxes here. So this is server, that's the IP address, username and password. And that connects that cloud service that you've just spun up to your local instance of DAS Studio. Then to get it to render, it shows you this is really nice Interface. It really shows you this here in step two. You can have two types of rendering mode and it shows you how to activate them. The first one is the render on cloud streaming mode. That's with this box enabled here on the same bridge tab here. With that enabled, anything that you will render in your local instance will be outsourced to the cloud instance. So this is great for laptop and Mac users who want to see a live updated preview in the viewport and for those of you who want to make animations. So anything that happens when you click the blue render button will use the cloud service to make the render. Your local GPU is kind of idle or can focus on other things like um, whatever, playing a video game or, you know, just making sure your screen looks okay. Whereas the cloud instance will then take care of rendering whatever you send to it with the big render button or the iRay preview in the viewport. Then the other option up here, if you switch that over, add to cloud render queue. This is great for still images. So if you're making a series of images for like a sequential comic or you're making various promo images, you don't hit the render button, you hit the add to queue button. So that's with this streaming option disabled, then the queue is enabled. And when you add things to the queue, the cloud instance will take all the data and then just go and render the image while you can use your local
local computer to do something else, namely set up the next shot and then just go submit pictures to the queue and let Boost for DAS handle all the rendering for that. So those two options are really exciting, depends on what you're doing, how you're working, but it makes your work more efficient and it means you can use all the hardware to get the most out of DAS Studio. I hope this overview was helpful because we're not at the end of the presentation yet. I have an exciting discount offer for you. Anyone who watches me on YouTube can get 10% off Boost for DAS, which is seriously, seriously awesome. So try out the service and see what you can do. If you're one of my supporters, or if you want to become one of my supporters, you can get 20% off Boost for DAS, which is even better. And it brings your art to the next level. Be more efficient, make the most of what you have, and you know, don't invest into new graphics card. Just let the cloud render if and when you need the service. You know, that job is gonna come in, that paid job, and you don't wanna turn it down just because you don't have adequate hardware to do it. My friends, thank you so much for watching. Have fun with Boost for DAS, and do share your creations on social media and the DAS Gallery and on ArtStation. Use the hashtag Boost for DAS, and then we can all admire what you've been able to do with cloud rendering. Thanks, guys.